Okay. Inverse kinematic for last three join lah. Last three join is uh, join four, join five, and join six. To solve or to design the in order to find solution for the last three join, we need, we need to do a uh, spherical risk design follow join uh, Euler angle type three. So common design for last three join robot for spherical join robot or orientation join is spherical risk where you can see that the last three exists intersect at one point. For example, join four exists, join five exists, and join six exists intersect. Ataupun uh, bercantum ber, uh, Bertemu di satu titik Yang kita panggil intersection point lah. So this is the basic If you want to design robot For the last three joint You must make sure the joint exists Intersect at one point If you design robot But the last three joint Do not intersect at one point You cannot solve for the inverse kinematic lah, Difficult lah. So we follow the Euler angle type 2 Rotation Z Rotation Y Rotation Z this common Euler angle, the rotation, the first rotation z is uh, phi, the second rotation joint is, is theta, and the last rotation joint is psi. Phi actually equal to joint uh, four, theta equal to joint five, psi equal to joint six. But uh, all this hidden in the variable of phi, theta, and psi. Uh, phi actually rotation about z Rotation uh, about z by phi angle Theta actually rotation about y by theta angle Psi actually rotation about z by psi angle So rotation z time rotation y time rotation z This is the, the, the first concept So we look again into the wrist uh, Joint of robot You see theta 4 Actually psi lah in this case Theta uh, joint 5 Actually Tita lah Tita 5 actually tita lah Join C Or psi Actually tita C Why uh, What is the logic of Employing the Euler angle type 2 Rotation Z time rotation Y rotation Z Because At the interse intersection point If we plot the Z axis Alongside Or coincide with the Join number C Gripper join And the Y join Coincide with the Normal join uh, or join 4 Then X Z and Y you can get X lah using right hand rule lah The X Z Sorry The X uh, Z Sorry Y will be uh, X Z Y will be here lah you mistake lah uh, Not here lah uh, Y will be here lah So you can get the X Z and Y lah using the right hand coordinate system lah So the logic is if you rotate the join 4 the gripper will be rotated as if being rotated about Z. When you rotate the joint phi, it the gripper uh, the gripper on the wrist will be as if you rotated about Y. And when you rotate again the gripper to, uh, uh, by joint C, it's being rotated about Z. So that, that is the logic that rotates Z, rotate rotated about Z, rotate about Y, and rotate about Z. So this is the logic of this. Of the design uh, of, the, of the design The rotation Z Time rotation Y Time rotation Z Which is equal theta 4 Theta 5 And theta C With this uh, simplification And uh, method You can simplify The inverse kinematic For the last Three, three joint So we try to calculate The metric Of uh, joint 4 Joint 5 And joint 6 Which is psi Rotation Z this is the format of rotation Z This is the Let's say it being rotated about Z This is the X, Y, Z So the U being projected as a U cos phi U being projected as U sine phi So you can get this one lah So uh, in, in, in another time I will discuss about rotation, rotation metric I think you can study by yourself lah But just uh, we take from appendix the rotation z is in this format a rotation y in this format rotation another rotation z is the same format with the un4 so you multiply this three if you mul okay, multiply un4 and un5 first uh, rotation z times rotation y we get this full metric so rotation z 
uh, the result of these two multiplication we multiply again with the John C or the rotation about Z again we multiply but if we multiply straight away this one will be a uh, very large component will exist in the first second column of the first row and very large component also exists in the first and second column of the second row so we do some smart approach we just multiply the last row with the first second and third column so we can get the uh, first uh, column of third row second column of third row and third column of third row and the last in order to get the the result in the third column you need to define the whole metric of first row to only the third column of second metric so multiply we can simplify so this one this one is too long so what is important in the u metric is the u1 uh, u31 u sorry u u13 u12 uh, and u33 and this one uh, u13 uh, u uh, 2 3 and this one u 3 3 sorry this one you sorry this one u 3 1 u 3 2 and u 3 3 this is the important point so we'll get the u metric from the from the first uh, from the first approach so the process to finding the last three join for orientation join in this kinematic or join 4 join 5 and join 6 you need to multiply this uh, rotation Z, rotation Y, and rotation metric in order to get the U metric from the risk approach, but multiply intelligently so you can get the simple component. I mean, only cos and sine, only two components, easy to solve for the inverse kinematic. So, this is the first video. Uh, please uh, uh, see the next video to elaborate about this process.